so this is going to be my January favorites video. Um, most of the items are beauty uh, favorites, beauty products, and stuff like that. So the first item that I have is a skincare item, and it's the Josie Marin 100% Pure Argan Oil and Light. And this came in a kit that I got for my birthday last year, and I've definitely been loving this. Um, I usually put it on in the nighttime before I go to bed after I wash my face. <clears throat> I do an under eye cream and then I put this all over my face. And it does feel oily on the skin but it does dry in and get absorbed into your skin within like an hour or so. So it's not like you're going to bed with like oily drippy face or anything. It's really really nice. And I just find that I don't have as many dry patches on my skin because I have combination to oily skin. And I find when I use this, I don't have as many patches and dry spots, so my foundation looks a lot better the day after. And then mentioning eye cream, so I've been using the Tarte Maracuja C Brightener Eye Treatment, and it's just a little crock pot like this. And it's just a white cream, and this is what I put over my lids, underneath my eyelids, underneath my eyes, and on the outer part here as well. So I just do a light little bit tapping it on there with my ring finger and um, this is what I used before the Josie Marin Argan Oil all over my face for the nighttime only. And I have noticed a difference in it in the last month um, with brightening under my eyes and stuff like that and less dark circles and I really really liked using that. For lips, the MAC Lipstick Angel which is a frost, frost formula and it's just a really really nice pink color. And it goes on so nice and smoothly. It's just a pinky nude color. I absolutely love it. It does remind me a lot of Cream Cup um, by MAC as well. A different finish, but it's still a really nice nude pink color. So definitely another new favorite lipstick. For blush, I have another Tarte product. And this came in the gift, um, the Christmas gift thing uh, that I had from Tarte. I got that for my birthday actually. And this blush is the Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush and it's in the color Memorable. It's a really nice dusty rose pink and it has a little tiny bit of shimmer so you almost don't even need to have um, a highlight on your cheek if you wanted to just get away with a bit of blush and uh, a little bit of bronzer and you'd be good to go. And it's just a beautiful color and it does stay put wherever you put it. It blends out really nicely and I just find it's a really really nice color for every day. And for bronzer, I love this Give Me Sun bronzer by MAC. It is new to my collection. I've tried a lot of different bronzers, which I really like. This one is really, really nice. The only issue I have with this is that it's not as blendable as I would like it to be. Um, so what I do is I use it really light-handedly and put it on, and then I just slowly buff it out upwards before I bring it down. Because I find if you go in with too much product and try to blend it down, you're going to have too harsh of a line, for my skin tone anyway. Um, and I do use this on my temples, bridge my nose, under my jaw, the usual. Um, it's a really, really beautiful color. Again, it's a little more difficult to blend, but I love the color, which is why I included it in my favorites. This new product by CoverGirl, the True Magic Skin Perfector. It's like this waxy substance. It's really, really unusual. Um, but yeah, it's just like a clear, waxy kind of consistency. And I do use a little uh, foam applicator thingy that comes with it and what you do is you just dab into it and then press it onto your skin and it's supposed to get rid of like the oils and stuff in your skin so instead of using a pressed powder over top of your makeup you can just use this clear skin perfector and I do find it kind of gets rid of the oily parts if you don't want to use blotting tissues the oil absorbing blotting tissues this is a great alternative for makeup remover I tried this Lancome bifacial double action eye makeup remover this works so, so good. I know it's not cheap. Um, I got this in a gift pack again. A lot of these things are gifts that I've gotten in like December month. Um, but this works so, so good. I used a little bit actually in the eyeliner video that I did just before this one. And when I used it, it was amazing. But I'm trying to save this only for when I have heavy makeup on to use it because I know it's not uh, inexpensive. So, um, anyway, it works really, really well to get off tough eyeliner and heavy eye makeup and that sort of thing. So I definitely think this is awesome. I love it. I just want to make sure it lasts as long as I can make it last. Next for face, I have the BB Cream by Garnier. This one, okay, I've had so many issues with BB Creams. I just never thought I would try another one. 
I find they don't have enough coverage for me. I like a full heavy face makeup. That's just me. That's what I like. I like full coverage so that my skin looks flawless because I have far from flawless skin. But this BB cream, which is in the combination to oily skin one, so it's supposed to have more of a matte finish. Um, and it's in the color light to medium I got for myself. And I do find that it's like a foundation. It covers my skin fairly well. Um, I do have to use concealer and certain blemishes and acne scars and stuff like that. But overall, this does cover very well. I would say it's medium, but it's definitely a buildable finish. And it did give me a matte finish, and it didn't get oily throughout the day like I thought it would. I was really, really impressed and very surprised at how well this performed. I've only used it twice this month, so it's unusual to be included into a monthly favorites. But I was just overly impressed with this product. I had to include it and tell you guys about it. Um, so if you've been disappointed with BB creams in the past, I tried like four or five of them. I don't know. Maybe I should just do a review of all of them, but I think they're all not great, so... Um, but this one is definitely worth talking about. The Combination to Oily Skin uh, BB Cream by Garnier. Love this. A little late joining the uh, club for this beauty blender, but I have been loving the Quo Beauty Sponge, which is a purple one. This purple one. Um... This one worked great for me. It's a little bit different of a shape, as you can see. Um, Size-wise, it's very, very similar. It does get larger, obviously, when you squeeze water out and get it damp and stuff. Um, but this performs so much better than this one. This is still good if you're starting out and you don't want to spend, like, 20 bucks on a little sponge. But the consistency is very different. This one is much, much firmer than this one. This one is very, very soft. Um, they're both similar, but this one does perform much better than this one. I notice a difference overall in my face. If I were to use this on one side and this on the other side, I know I would notice a difference. So this is a beauty blender. It is expensive. I bought a two pack because I just knew I was going to like it. If I liked that one and everyone was telling me I would love this one and they were right. So I do love this one. It's in my favorites. You have to try it. If you love beauty sponges and you do want to invest in something else, it's really, really great quality. It washes really well and it just makes your makeup so flawless. I have tried it for foundation all over my face and I do like it for certain foundations, um, but mainly I use it for under the eyes with concealer. The last beauty favorite that I have is a few of my favorite things palette um, and this is by Too Faced. There's so many things in here that I love. I'm not going to go through all of them. Um, I still have the plastic divider in here, so I just want to hold it up a little bit for you. But what it is, it's just an eyeshadow palette on top, and then the bottom I have two bronzers and two blushes. I love all of these. I love all the eyeshadows and all the blushes and bronzers in here. I love the consistency, the pigmentation, how blendable they are. I love everything about it. The smell of the Chocolate Soleil bronzer. I love everything about this palette. I do take this for traveling when I'm going. It does seem big, but you don't really need to take much more eyeshadows. You can do a complete eye with this. Um, there's not a big selection of transition colors is the only thing. So a lot of times I take my Naked Basics palette as well, just to have like the basics highlighter and stuff like that and the uh, transition color. But this is beautiful for doing any kind of look. I absolutely love it. And blonder, the bronzers and the blushes in here are very wearable and beautiful. I love this palette so much. It's probably one of my most used palettes. And then finally, I want to talk to you about a favorite of mine this month. As you know, many people have New Year's resolutions to get healthier each year. I'm really, really trying to exercise more. That's not working out great for me. But as for food and things like that, I have been juicing. And this is a Juicing Bible, the second edition by Pat Crocker. And this has so many recipes in here and like pictures of the actual smoothies and stuff like that or the juices I guess I don't know what you would call it the juices what you juice so you're juicing vegetables and stuff but you can do smoothies and there's all kinds of pictures in here and recipes different things for teas um, I haven't tried a whole whole lot of it but what you do is you can look it up by the vegetable you want to in the index in the back or whatever but there's just so many things in here that are amazing 
Um, and really, once you get used to it, you could just fire all the veggies that you prefer into one. But I really like to look and see because some of them have actual like herbs and spices and stuff into it, which makes it a lot tastier and better for you. So this has been really, really helpful to get you started for juicing if it's something you're interested in. And I use the the Magic Bullet, I believe it's called. It's the big black one. I'll insert a picture if I can find a picture for you. And I just really, really love it. I have the Smoothie Bible as well. And again, you could just throw in your favorite fruits and stuff. But it's just nice to have some recipes sometimes. And I love having actual books and hard copies of things for looking and using my little sushi bookmarker to mark things of my favorites. And you can put little post-its and make notes of whether you liked it or not or what you would change for next time and things like that. This book actually has a bunch of things for healthy living and different, what's it, different conditions, I believe. Just let me find the page. But there is a page here, here we go, for health conditions. There's one here for a hangover, um, for aging, for allergies, anxiety, arthritis, the common cold, constipation. Um, if you're overweight, if you have kidney stones, there's so many health conditions listed here. And then it gives suggestions of which kind of smoothies or juices you should make, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's really, really great and really helpful, not only to lose weight, but just to be healthy. So guys, that's all the favorites that I have for January. Hopefully you guys like this. Stay tuned for another video soon. I hope to upload another one next week. So I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.